The first superintendent's cottage is the oldest building on Rottnest Island. Built by Aboriginal prisoners, it was described in 1841 by Henry Trigg, the superintendent of works for the Swan River Colony. The buildings are of stone, laid in a good shell lime, and are built in a neat, convenient and substantial manner. The main building, fronting the sea, is 74 feet long by 15 deep, divided into convenient rooms, all neatly thatched. The front is of sawn stone laid in courses. The inside of the entire building is paved with flat stones. The reveals lined, neat panel pieces, walls plastered and all complete. The Aboriginal prison was closed in 1904, but in 1913 the large superintendent's cottage was divided and used as accommodation, initially for government officials and later open to the wider public. Many tourists and holiday makers ventured to the island by private boat or ferries such as the Zephyr. Judith Ankertel was one such holiday maker. In an interview in 2011, she was asked to describe her memories of staying on the island as a university student when she came over for a big conference gathering. Uses me now. We stayed in the very front cottages because they were the, the worst and the lowest. We were in double beds, you know, one on top of each other. But you may be interested to know about the, the food. We were told to peel all the apples or peel all the potatoes for 90 people. Somebody peeled all the apples and then she took it over to the, to the saucepan and turned on the tap. And then she cooked it and she tasted it. It was salt water in the tap. It had to be tipped out. As soon as we'd finished our dinner, all of us, cutlery in China, run down to the beach, wash it in the sea, bring it back. No washing up done up there, it was salt water inside and outside. If you are fortunate to be staying in 340 or 341, notice the floorboards, especially those in the lounge rooms. These boards are very wide, something you will not find easily on the mainland. Could they have been from a shipwreck or perhaps a special job lot that was sent to the island to fill an order. Of interest are the different materials used in the interior as the house expanded and grew. The windows in the cottage are all different. Look at them next time you're walking past. They alone make the building incredibly unique and place it firmly in the early years of the Swan River Colony, reflecting the history of not only the island, but of Australia. This is a truly unique and interesting building, part of the historic streetscape that has not changed in nearly 200 years. The buildings were built as accommodation and they have been continually used for that purpose. How fortunate we are to have such fine examples of colonial architecture on Rottnest Island.